any section 1.4 exercise 64 and here we're given a function g of x it's a piecewise defined function uh, 4 sine x over x uh, x less than 0 and then a minus 2x for x greater than or equal to 0 and the idea here is, is um, you know uh, if I'm not dividing by 0 then 4 sine x over x is fine um, and a minus 2x is always fine no matter what a, a is and and so you know the problem is here at that transition point zero so to uh, to do this problem you know what I need to do is figure out what the limit is um, for uh, limit as x goes to zero from the uh, left because um, we're here you know as I look at this here zero here is the first part the four sine x over x goes there and then a minus 2x goes over here um, and so I want to know the limit as I'm coming in this way uh, four sine x over x now what I suggest is you just graph this and what you'll see is that this is equal to 4. Um, actually, you know, so one can uh, can find ways to kind of show the sine x over x, uh, some nice geometric ways to show uh, sine x over x goes to 1 as x goes to 0, but um, uh, I'm not going to do that here. We're just going to kind of, you know, I could, what you can do again is you go to Desmos, say something like that, look at the graph and, and see that you would get four for this. And so what that means is I need the limit as X goes to zero from the right of a minus two X to equal four. Well, if I use direct substitution, I would have a minus 2 times 0 has to be 4. Well, so a has to be 4. And so in order to make this function continuous, I would need to have this be g of x equals uh, 4 sine x over x when x is less than 0 and 4 minus 2x when x is greater than or equal to 0. And so there I've made it continuous and again you could uh, check something like this on Desmos to make sure that that, that worked. Um, you know you graph this piecewise function on Desmos and, uh, um, and I won't pull up Desmos here because I'm not in a place I can very easily. Uh, I'll have to work on that because I, I think I do have the Desmos application on, on here so uh, one of these days maybe I'll have to try that. I'll see if I can uh, coordinate the two of those but uh, anyway on Desmos I would do something along the lines I think of uh, to get this this piecewise function uh, it looks sort of the same except you start with uh, the condition so x less than 0 colon and then 4 sine x over x and then a comma and um, you actually in this case because this is actually an if statement it's saying if x is uh, less than 0 do this otherwise is what comes after the comma but it uh, probably doesn't hurt to uh, specifically put that in and then colon and uh, 4 minus 2x and if you put that into Desmos you should get a very nice uh, continuous piecewise defined function so there you go uh, number 
64.